Hello, good afternoon, my fellow loopers. So this is another series in my uh, looping series, I guess you could call it. So this is how we're going to hook up a all of our instruments going into a mixing board and then using that with the looper. So I'm going to kind of walk you through how I do it. And I'm using the new Allen & Heath CQ18T. So this is kind of a little check this thing out, what it does, and how I use it with my looping board over here. All right, so first things first. So all of my instruments, Helix, all of my, my Roland Hand Sonic, my keyboard, everything is going into the mixer, as you can see here. Then I have it going into my RC600 and then coming back into the RC600, and then everything then goes out to the mains. I know it sounds confusing, but let's kind of walk you through it. So first off, when you fire up this CQ, it brings you, this is the front page. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your scenes, and I've created a scene. And you wanna recall that scene, and yes, recall it. And then we'll go to our faders. And here your faders, you see, you can have inputs one through eight, nine through 16, stereo inputs, effects, outputs, and so forth, right? So if we go to vocals, vocals is, I have coming from my TC Helicon over here, into the board up here and it's on one and two and if you go into the configure button here on the Allen and Heath you can see one and two and I've linked them via stereo which means everything is hard panned right and left so that's where you can see that got the gain adjustment here this thing is pretty neat because you can actually do an auto gain set and as you're speaking into it it digitally just automatically sets the gain where it should be for your particular mic, it's pretty nice. Make sure you always turn off the auto gain because it, it kind of goes up and down depending on your um, how high or how hard you sing and stuff. But make sure you turn that off. But auto set is pretty cool. You label it Vox. I've color coded it for purple. So you can see that's that piece. Then you come over and you can see also you got the gain set there. Got the gate. I don't have a gate on. Get out of that. And you can see there's, you can do an EQ. This is the EQ that I have for my mics. And an important thing here is, so, this isn't just pertaining to this particular mixer. Anytime you're using a mixer and you're using the RC600, my recommendation would be to route everything in up here, right? This is where all of your instruments come into. And then you use an out which I believe is this one. So one of your outs, your auxes, goes out to your 600. It goes into the RC600 instrument one. See, I got right and left mono right there, or right and left. So we're getting a stereo signal going in, and then coming out, I have the main outs coming back into here okay so follow me so then if you see the vocals right here i have the entire signal well for vocals i don't have vocals running into the rc600 so all i have it's turned off it's just going straight to the mains but if you come back out of this and you look at guitar now I have my entire guitar signal, my Helix, going into the 600 and nothing coming into the mains. If you have stuff going into the mains, you're gonna get feedback loop and it's gonna be extremely loud. So just have it going into the 600. So everything that you have for your Helix is going out of the out into the instrument one on the looper over here, and then it's coming back from the looper into the in right here, this is the right and left from the main out of the looper going into a separate channel on the mixing board, okay? And you can control your levels as what, how you want things to go in, how hot the signal you want to go into the looper. So, you know, I have it at nine, negative 9.8. Uh, if you look at, say, my bass, I have it at a negative three, because I really like a good bass thump to it. If you look at keys, they're set at unity. That way I can control the volume more at the, um, the volume on the keys themselves. 
drums, you can see they are at 8.9. And every one of these things, just remember what I said earlier, you gain stage them first. You set your gain, turn your volumes all the way down, and you start playing and it sets your gain for you. You can do the same thing in a regular mix so you'll just have the, the lights that'll light up for you. But set your gain first, then you set the volume of your instruments that you want so you can hear them, and then you set them at how you want them to be sent over to the RC600. It took me forever to figure that out because my gain was all over the place. Uh, but now I think I got it figured out. It sounds really good uh, playing live. And as you can see also, I have IE uh, in-ear in -ear monitors. And that is, so we'll go to this one. You can see I can listen to that total mix through my 600, but I also have it going out of Unity on the mains. So this is all that's coming out of the mains, the RC600 and vocals. So the output from the mains goes into the channel, or the output from the RC600 goes into the input here, and then the input from here goes out to the mains. My vocals, which is up here, bring it back over to here. Nothing going into the 600, all going to the mains, just a little below Unity. And then the nice thing also is when you do the outputs, on this, you can also do your own EQ and some comp some compression as well. Now this little right here, this is how you can actually start, you can just live stream straight from this board. So it took me a little bit to figure this out because if you just, if you don't use compression and set some compression gain on your main left and right, you're gonna get very, very, very low recordings. You actually have to set compression gain on your main and low, your main and left and right, to get a good signal to come out of a stream. Otherwise, it's gonna be a lot lower for some reason. I wish Alan and Heath would figure that piece out because it's mind-boggling why you do that. Um, but that's about it. So all the instruments go into the mixing board. Ox out, everything fed into an ox out. So you can see again, I'll show you one more time. This is bass going into the RC600, which the RC600, if we look at the outs, Let's see. Yep, so everything is going into there. You can see the levels. You can click on look at the levels. No effects. I don't have any effects turned on for this. I think the only one that has some, maybe some bass. Not even the bass, no, I didn't have any effects on the bass. So once everything comes, goes into the RC600, comes back into its own separate channel, which is here. This is the RC600 channel. This is the faders. This is the singular screen for it. You can see here, it's set to Unity. I have no effects on the main. I do have a little bit of a signal going to the in-ear monitor just so I can hear it just in case I use it. I also gain staged the RC600, as you can see. I added some input gain to that to give it a little bit more boost, which also helps with your streaming. Uh, I did stereo link them to give a nice stereo signal coming out. So all instruments are stereo except for the bass because the bass is a mono instrument coming in. But everything is stereo and then the RC600 is stereo, so you should have a very nice full stereo sound when you do a live stream or a recording, or even when you're just playing live. And it does, it sounds amazing live. Um, I'm playing it out of two EV50s when I play live. Uh, out of my, typically it's my American Fender Telecaster. Uh, Helix with a Fender Twin preset. So it's pretty simple stuff. But, so that's kind of it. Let me know if you have any questions. I know this took me forever to figure it out. I figured I'd do a video for it. If you have any questions on the routing or anything in particular or on the, the mixer board or anything else, uh, shoot me a question. Just let me know. And thanks again for your likes and subscribes and listens and views. Take care. Great.